let's get started, shall we? Oh, I'm surprised they didn't get shall we, the captions I mean. Let's get started. Xenoblade Chronicles X. The game, as the title suggests, the game that time forgot. Whether that's a good thing or not, eh. I mean, I've li I liked what I've played of it. I'm not sure if it's popular. I'm trying to get the webcam out of the shot here. Or, not the webcam out of the shot. That seems silly. The microphone. Uh, yes. Me versus dead. Thank you for reminding me. It makes me sad. Uh, obviously, we're going to continue with the same character we made last time. I don't know if this character has any character yet. Ooh. All right. Jam. I can get down to this. Jam spotted. I feel kind of prepared, honestly. I remembered to tweet everything. I remember to notify people that I'm streaming. I feel prepared, he says, and then realizes he doesn't have any water. Uh, we might have to take an intermission. Who knows? Cross that bridge when we get there. Xenoblade is taking its time to load. Ah, oh, I, oh, I made a, oh, wait, I remember what we made this character. This is like human Kiranis, isn't it? All right, okay, now I remember where we are. I do not remember the quest we're on, but I remember where we are. Hello there, can I talk to you? No, okay. Spin the camera around. Obviously, toggle sprint. On. Hey, what's up, guy? It's the only. It's the only biggest building in town. So I don't know how you can mess that up. <laughs> I do wish there was some kind of automated cam. Is there like a? Okay, that's just the reset camera button. Is there like some kind of automated camera? Wait, what? Oh, I walked into a cutscene. That's kind of cool. That like while it loads the cutscene, you can look around using the camera also this used to load faster but I uninstalled the things that make it load faster from my hard drive on my Wii U to get more space because reasons a uh, giant mech we get a giant mech late game in this don't we I'm interested I know it's pretty late game get the big when you get the I think it's called a scale I'm looking forward to scales I didn't get to I didn't get far enough in the game to get them uh, the first time I played it I also tried to start playing this like when I went to college which was a bad idea because it's it's a bit like an MMO you need to spend a lot of time on it to have a good time oh here we go. I have no idea who these characters are. I know this captain, the captain gal that just walked past us uh, is supposed to be pretty important. Obviously, this this gal here is some kind of skill mechanic or technician. Damn Pilot's not happy about it. He is not a happy camper. He was not expecting to crash that thing. Hmm. Oh. Prepare yourself for assorted joint crunching sounds. That's how my hands are these days, unfortunately. Oh, you can hear the poor little disc drive clanking away, trying to load things. Look, I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt. Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, man, it's a good thing I caught that. 
You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to flub a flight check. Okay, this is Lynn. <gasps> She's Could got you little had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey Elma. Little clips. Go out They're Monado. And would this be one of the you know who's? Cool. I love this I'm anime Lee boy. Mechanic that and we top made our main fix character. Uh, look skeptical or look worried? I don't know. I would look more skeptical than worried. Like, well, then again, she did just flub the intake exhaust manifold, so maybe worried might make more sense. Sorry, I'm gonna check something. Okay, yeah, this game's rated T for teen, so it's not like Dragon Age, where we accidentally the whole thing... and played an M-rated game without any kind of warning. Uh, I'm gonna look worried. Find out how old Lynn is, or find out what happened with the exhaust. I want to know what happened with the exhaust more than I want to know how old Lynn is. Uh, yeah. Well, that, uh, doesn't usually happen. We know it doesn't, Lynn. Just look, I know what you're thinking. Is screaming at but me. believe me, young as she may look, and yes, she is young, she's actually one of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. <laughs> Most, of, Most the time. of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. <sighs> that sounds like a great idea. You know, all I was right, thinking Dad, about I think it. Be all for today. Um, you can clean up here and dock the scale. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first okay, place? Lynn! Lynn! Um. Oh yeah, we named the character Kierness, so this is intended to be human Kierness. Uh, we'll add her to our party. Sure. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was thinking about it the other day. A lot of my videos don't have captions um, outside of the automated YouTube ones. I was thinking, perhaps, you can set up the captioning plugin that I'm using, which I should link at some point. Um, I've mentioned it's by Rat with a compiler on GitHub, so you can probably find it from there. Um, it generates SRT caption files so like you can set it up to listen to any audio source in your machine oh i'm not used to playing hey. With the hey my little brother just joined the prospectors he's been a civilian until now so i'm worried about whether he'll be able to handle all the duties of blade uh, brain loading one moment um let's jump oh yeah knife um you can set it to work with... Oh, CR's jump, it's right over there. You can use it with any audio source, so I'm kind of tempted to, like, go back and let the captioner, captioner like, caption uh, older videos. That might be an interesting stream, like, start from the really old stuff. Uh, let's hop a ride on that transport to get to the AD. Just talk to the pilot to get going. Okay. Oh, there's the... There's the... There's the objective. Hello, transport pilot. Does this feel a little loud to y'all? I mean, it doesn't look all that loud on the output in comparison to my voice, so it's probably fine, but it feels loud on my end. I'm not used to the gamepad anymore. Like, I I used to be very comfortable with the Wii U gamepad, being that I played a lot of Splatoon, but like, wow, the Joy-Cons are a huge step forward. Ow, I just stubbed the heck out of my toe. Can the caption still hear me? Okay. We're good. I was just a little concerned, because they have a bad habit of not working as intended sometimes. Not bad, huh? 
everything from up here. What's the big percentage on that building? I mean, you're. It's certainly come a long way in the last few weeks. There's still so much to be done. One day at a time. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Okay. Why don't you give us the express tour, Lynn? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district, where Doug and I were conducting the flight test. Okay. It has food production, skill development, you know, industries and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> It's also where the West Gate is located. Remember? Expect to pass through there fairly. I definitely often. remember the West Gate, and it's not the been only other several months. In the administrative district. I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. The CD is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards anyway. Day or night, the best and only bargains on the oh, planet. Here comes one of the cats wanting to open the door. Come on. To your right, the yeah, residential Hi, Magnus. District. You can do it. Housing, housing, and more housing. Well, Come on, Magnus. You can open the door. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, Want to relax and unwind. Oh, there's the parks. Work. That's the spot. What do you think, right? Magnus Cat? The park is my favorite place to just zone Do you want to join the show. group? You want to say hello? And last but not least, our destination, the administrative district, the nerve center at the heart of NLA. Come here. Come here, kitty. Note the distinct dual level structure here. The upper level holds our administrative tower, home to Blade HQ and the government. Not to mention Armory Alley There's as well Magnus. as the He's off screen. The lower level there is a hangar complex for scale maintenance and... Come here, Magnus. Come on. Come here, kitty. The world wants to see you. And this concludes our tour. Uh -huh. We will be landing shortly. Yeah, Thanks, here. Lynn. Do you want pets? We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. He's like, oh, I don't know. Can people see that I'm getting pets? Come on. No? Yeah, you're comfy? Alright. Uh. Okay, I thought it got stuck on that engine sound for a second. I was concerned. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for I don't for know how to feel Lee about Air how this Arms. game looks. Right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my like report. Like, it doesn't look bad. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. But it doesn't seem like they... Well then, we better not keep them waiting. Hid their the love barracks detail are pretty very well. close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower. Okay, yeah, a giant blade tower, but what is that percentage? That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. Okay. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? Oh, but you know I love you to get sidetracked. Getting sidetracked is half the fun of an RPG. <laughs> do, 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 do. Giant robot. Hello there. I can't walk that way, apparently. Hello. Careful. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to run into that person. Listen, it expected me to go to the left, and I'm gonna go to the right. Yeah. Exploring an uncharted planet is no easy task. For the sake of efficiency, it's important that each division performs, performs its own assigned duty. Like, this, is, this looks pretty good. It is a very specific sort of uh, aesthetic choice. Very, um, very cyberpunk future. I like it. 
I'm gonna toggle sprint because I am too impatient to wait. Just completely bowl over that guy and forget who he is. Okay, Blade Barracks. Loading the game. Like I said, I think it's pretty cool that you can, like, control the camera while the game loads, in case it's taking its sweet time. And here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. Okay. Uh, ask about registration or frown and say nothing. Let's ask about registration. I want to know things. I think I can answer that one. Oh, you so look important. You must be the latest rescue. Secretary Nagi. Hmm, with a name, with a title like Shipper Secretary, you know he's important. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight oh, I should no. know? No. Nothing to worry Nothing about. Nothing to she worry says. about. Good. You sure it stays that way? More importantly, Elma. You found another. Oh, her name is Elma. Excellent work. Hmm. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, as for officially registering our new citizen here, seems Why like don't you'll we talk get a new citizen a very often, do you? It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back. Oh, to yeah, us. endlessly weary. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. <sighs> oh, if it wasn't eight eight thirty at night, I would be. I would make some tea. That sounds lovely, honestly. I do rather enjoy tea. There's a reason at the beginning of most paper cut streams I like announce what tea I'm drinking. It's because I'm enjoying it very thoroughly. Oh, sometimes the screen I use for this just behaves very strangely. It has like a, almost like a fade in, like, is there supposed to be sound here, or are we just kind of panning the camera? This doesn't. Allow there me we to go. Formally introduce I was myself. like, that felt a little lengthy My for an established show. You may remember Shush. me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory it's loss. It's true, I can't remember memory anything. Loss. From the stasis? He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. Mm -hmm. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what? Two months? Y'all got all this it's set up in long two months? Off. That's impressive. No exactly. Then again, well then, where should we begin? it's less impressive if this city ship had a city in it before it crashed. Asked how we ended up on Mira, ask for more information about Blade, or ask about registr registration. I want to know how we ended up on Mira, because I don't remember the opening cutscene. It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien Ooh. civilizations. It's a rough way to go. Flashback. Their technology and weapons were... Beyond our comprehension, we were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. I just noticed something in my lab that's gonna bother me if I don't fix it. <laughs> so I still wonder if happens. I hadn't been there. Maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus and no escape. 
any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here, and we are alive. We survived. <laughs> so yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet, and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. Ooh. The Xenoforms found us again, and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. But what did humanity do? For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. There we go. Sorry, this the ship had taken way too much damage, damage to survive entering me. the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Ah, uh, so that that the city was mostly just the habitat, and they just landed it on the planet. Once the dust cleared, okay. we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Okay, we've learned how we ended up on Mira. Tell me about Blade. Blade is an acronym. Yeah, obviously. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Ah, Earth. that's... Quite fitting, I that's think. That's a retro acronym. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. That's what the kids call a backronym? Course, they came up with the name Blade and then applied an acronym to it. Down here Absolutely. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization different disciplines to fill these various roles. Mm -hmm. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former ah, soldiers. Former soldiers, huh? But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now, we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the life I was order. expecting survive. Take a look at this. Uh, that looks important. <laughs> the White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, mm -hmm. all of them held in stasis. All housed in a structure called the Life. Oh, so this is like... This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the life hold. Are in the life hold. Okay, so you're With assuming luck, they're all still there. Yeah. In stasis, waiting to be rescued. But there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we mm. came down on Mira. Hopefully. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Is that what that big 60% is? Or is that like an efficiency thing? Like what is that? What is that? I know it's a weird piece of world building to be like bent out of shape about, but like it's right there on the biggest building in the settlement. Why do it do that? Ah uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current well, state Well, I have of no personal assets. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, 
We all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public oh, services. Oh, public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Yeah. Ms. Koo, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district. Yeah, take me places. Show yes, me sir. things. Come on. We'll keep this briefing brief. Ah. I got 5,000 gold and 20... What do you think those are? Armor? Maybe. All we gotta do is leave. Goodbye! Uh oh, I did not mean to walk up and over that. Cool. Hello? As you explore as you explore the administrative district, think about what sort of life you'd like to lead here in New LA. Take all the time you need. I'll be right here whenever you're ready. I have a very imposing and suitable voice. Could not think of a better word than suitable. Gosh darn it. What is this? This looks important. Unable to confirm blade ID. That's probably the Miiverse terminal. Rip Miiverse. As we can see on the mini map up top, where two party members are struggling to keep up with my massive running speed. Uh, okay. Open the door. Yes. We're going to the administrative district to administrate ourselves some information about the area. Ooh, we loading. We loading things. How have y'all been though? Honestly I'm kinda I'm kinda really excited to oh wait, no. There might be talking. There is talking. You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. Yeah. Nagi must really, really want him to join Blade. The AD is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any oh, extra Oh, but I fluff. like extra fluff. Get a load of that skill. Oh, beak boy. Even the way that they walk is so cool. Oh yeah, work it, baby. Mm -mm. Mm. That's a decision. Uh, gaze longingly at the scale or ask what a scale is. Uh, we're gonna clarify because, as Kiernis, I need to talk the most possible. What? You don't remember what a scale? No, is? I don't at all. That gorgeous exoskeleton that just went yeah, by? Yeah, that thing. Basically like the most incredible, awesomest super weapons oh, ever? okay. Lasers, force fields, bipedal and vehicular transformations. Oh, oh, it's a transformer? Sorry, just... I get so excited whenever I, I think mean, about it. I mean, they sound pretty exciting. Don't mind me, I'm just remembering Originally, that this is Kyrgyz. Originally, scales were a defensive measure to counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Those do look pretty cool, though. Still, just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. That is pretty we impressive. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. I'd love to get you into one to see for yourself, but it's not that simple. I mean, they look pretty... Well, yeah, duh. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. Mm. And even then... You need a license. Oh, I want to get a scale license. These aren't toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful yeah, weapons. Yeah, but they, they look cool. And they're a precious resource. We only have so many of them to go around. So yes, as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? But it's not that simple. Mm. They choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. Oh man, that's what I was gonna do. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the then test. Then I better look important. Blades who go above and beyond in their duties and for the people of New LA in general. So what do you say? If you become a blade and work hard, 
I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. I mean, that is a great Speaking incentive work, to become a blade. Me. Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. I assume that that's Good that call. thing over there. Let's head on over. Is it gonna let me walk over there, or is it just gonna transition? Oh no, it's letting me walk there. Okay. I assume this is the mission control board. This big old thing is staying over here. Yep, cutscene. So this is mission control. Yeah. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so blades usually choose their own assignments. Yeah. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. Look at this floor. And it's not just official blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post. So this is the quest board citizens, where we get whoever. quests. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA. So the board is constantly updating. They should not just have given me the power of free camera at some here. Point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around. This here is where all the quests live. Or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. I'm not gonna hold the camera Likewise. still. And if the assignment seems too seems tough to, too handle, tough to solo. handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. I assume the scout console hey, is the like. This tour anyway. We also have the scout console. <laughs> If the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? I assume the scout console is for, like, hey. getting party members. How the heck am I supposed to pull off this job by myself? It's madness. Madness! Uh, hey, you wanna come along and help? Yes, I do, actually. But I'm too busy getting distracted by this flashing yellow circle on the map. Ta-da! The Blade Scout mm -hmm, Console. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the Scout Console. You know, to get, get tougher. tougher. If you do end up joining us, mm. you'll quickly realize just how important this is. Yeah, this is probably for, like, parties. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized mm. knowledge or unique this skills. This is for, like, if you're current... This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. If your current party you can't spell blade mm. without team. So uh. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? Hang on, Lynn. I'm too Take busy easy, spinning the camera around. What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join Blade, or maybe a crazy. Mm, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty crazy. Oh. And here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Look at that big old robot over there. I want to I want to pilot a scout. About a little shopping. And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory oh, Alley. Oh, Armory Alley, huh? Um oh, this is this okay. So this used to be for like group quests. Uh when Meverse was a thing. Well, that's kind of annoying that it was had a whole section of the tutorial Careful. tied to it, and now it's just not a real thing anymore. Hey. That person's taking this too seriously. The ba the weight of humanity upon everyone's shoulders. That's a lot. Hold up. Wait a minute. Where does it want me to go? Right over here? Hey. Ah, there we go. Cutscene. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Mm -hmm. Blades can requisition equipment from any yeah, of the Yeah, this is where we get equipment, okay. I won't lie. Most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. I mean, yeah, of course. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. I mean, it's a little about impressing your friends. <laughs> and that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. Oh, you can buy skells you equipment buy too. Whole skells. A whole skell. Can you imagine owning your I own do kind of want to own a whole skell. We'll get there. Uh, huh? Oh, right, the tour. I think all that's left is the heart of blade itself. Are you blade guys tower. finally going to tell me what the percentage on the blade tower means? Am I finally going to learn the thing that I've been complaining about the whole time? I need to know. One thing I really like about this game is, like, it's well aware that its open world is super large and occasionally barren, so there's an auto-run mode. Alright. 
tell me things, what does the percentage mean? I gotta know. Inform me. So yeah, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day well, here. That's what you get when you're a higher up. The government leaders too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new director general. Director general. Blades sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. The rain. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision. I mean, decision if to I join don't us, join not. Blade, the storyline is kind of seen where and how we work. Hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that. Your decision. A tabletop game this is In not. Case, let's head back to the it barracks. will not Secretary adapt Nagi to my waiting. desire to have a different storyline happening. Oh! Listen to that, like... Very satisfying. Yes, I do want to save. Save complete. Nice. Alright, where next? Looks like there's something right here. Oh, field action. Uh, I cannot do that field action yet. Because I'm not cool enough. I gotta increase my coolness quotient a lot, apparently. Can I just walk in here? I cannot do that, okay. Listen. Every category of indigent has a weakness to something. For example, flame-based attacks are weak against something. Uh, that skill got bizzle-bopped in the landing in fighting Xenos, apparently. Wait, I already got an achievement? Any blade that can use can use that terminal there to protect purchase new weapons and protective gear. Alright, people remember the we talked about this person earlier who was, was taking it a little too seriously. Where? Is our main quest marker? Did I run past it? I did. Oh, it's flashing. If you register, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. If you register collectibles, Sir. you're so enthused about the collectopedia. Why are you? Okay. Anyway, let's go to this, the flashing icon on the map. I have some opinions about the music choices. It's not bad, but it's not what I would expect. It definitely, like, I said this when I was first playing this game. It feels like an MMO, just like, not massively multiplayer. Honey, we're home. <laughs> yes. Very, Very amusing. amusing. Who wants a fresh cup of tea? Thank you, Ms. Goo. But I can't stay long. I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer. Commander Vandom? Hmm. Does it have anything to do with our new arrival? Did Xenoblade Correct. 2 also use the he name Vandom? While you were out on your tour. He said he'll come back, but that I shouldn't wait to ask him. I'm Googling that. <laughs> Here we go. I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. <laughs> the commander does have a way with words. Is there an... Makes even my pitch sound smooth. Is there someone named Vandom in every Xenoblade? Issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current there need is. for Blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course. And I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? Uh, look into Nagi's eyes and nod firmly, or refuse by shrugging your shoulders and shaking your head. I mean, I want to refuse because it would be funny to see what they do, but I know accepting is probably the better idea. So we're gonna accept. Yes. I knew you'd make the right choice. 
Like, I'm genuinely curious what would have happened if I said re Helmer, reject. Can start on your like, do I just game over? Yes, I know Mr. Harvest Secretary. Moon did that. With pleasure. All right. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. <laughs> Affinity chart now, flunky. Let's discuss that training assignment. Yeah, sure. Training assignment. We've decided Learn me to things. start you out on a probe installation. Just mm, to get stolen some probes. Okay. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New LA, we're using a specialized computer system called Frontier Nav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mirror. Okay. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Yeah, that makes sense. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest yeah, priorities. Yeah, of course. You want to know where you want to go? Take a look at What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes ah, the area this and part the surrounding this portion of the game. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal Yeah, blocks. there's a whole, like, we call these blocks sectors. mining thing that happens on the gamepad. This was the most efficient pattern given the limited range of our probe. Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. I think part of why I didn't... The Frontier Nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity. Play this Which comes in handy as much. To track down a blade or another citizen. When I first got it, was I was yes. like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go full completionist. I'm gonna do so every quest. Exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white yeah, they're right, right there. Go there. Install the data. Oh, ah, okay. Then come back home. Got it. East of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district, right? We should be Oh, okay. No they were just saying we don't get to use that gate very often. That's I'll leave cool. the details on the data probe installation procedure to you. I'm going to lie. I kind of want to bump the music levels right, down a tick Shall or two. Yeah. They're Train great. Let's go like, install the hell out of that probe. Yeah, install the heck out of that probe. Let's go. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Um, the music seems a little high in my ears. Like, I can't hear the dialogue and stuff. Is there a way to fix that? Pause. Uh, settings. Game settings. Thank you. Settings for... Uh, social settings obviously don't. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not use those because Miiverse is dead. Uh, yeah. Disable that, thank you. Miiverse kind of died and makes everybody sad. Is there a way for me to, like, turn the volume down? Ah, maybe in here. Uh, scale positioning, zoom speed, rotation speed. Okay, uh... I guess not. I guess I can't turn the music down. Okay, yeah. To reveal me being online to only my friends. Okay. Notifications? I don't like having those. Do not notify people. Notify me only about my own notifications. Anyway, so that's... There goes that plan. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go do things. Let's go install the mining probe and activate the gamepad half of the game. Like, I got super... Like, when I played this game for the first time, I was like... Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be completionist. I'm gonna get 100% of the things, and then I immediately got sucked into like four side quests, and one of the side quests requires you to like. Man, am I glad we pulled an assignment to the east of the city this time? It'd be a long walk all the way back over to the west. Come gate. back to it, because it's Hold in because the item's in a higher level Are we area. Are sure the east gate will be open? Last I heard, it was still on lockdown from all the high level indigenous. Indigen, activity. if you're curious, is short for indigenous. It was. But they just lowered the threat level earlier today. Uh, the entities. gates are officially open for business. One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? Mm, no, let's speculate. <laughs> 
wouldn't surprise me at all. Irina's team is one of our best. How does he know Irina and Gwyn? We ran into them just before we met up with you. They were on their way out to an assignment. Well, then that settles it. It must have been them, right? Man, forget this amateur hour pro baloney. Those guys were the action Oh, yeah? I'll try not to take that personally. But enough talk. We've got our mission to deal with. I really like Elmo's armor, by the way. It feels very Xenoblade. That probe isn't going to install itself. Let's get to the East Gate, shall we? Which I guess is very fitting. This is a Xenoblade game, after all. Yeah, Eastgate, thank you. Okay. Let's go. Uh, this is Ilionara, Blade Sport Lead, here to tell you that the segment map is now on the gamepad. Looky loo! It's a real thing! The map displayed on your handheld comm device is a useful tool with a lot of info about Mira. Give it a look if you're unsure of where you are or what you're supposed to do. Oh, I wish, I wish the gamepad was, like, as good as it could have been, but they made some architectural, uh, blunders in designing the Wii U, um, that made it very difficult to program for, so, like, all of the cool things that you want to do with the gamepad don't really happen. It's kind of unfortunate, honestly. I, I, I really liked the concept of the Wii U. The Switch kind of just is what the Wii U should have been. Look at that big boy. He crunched that tree. Uh, I think you can, like, activate auto run. Um, there's a way to do it. There's also a bunch of continents, by the way. What, what is this? Uh... Never mind. I, I know there's a way to like auto run places, but I don't know how to do it. I'm sure it'll come up because it's a really handy feature. You can just be like, all right, I want to automatically run this way. Let's check this. What's this do? Oh, current time. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll leave the time as a B. Ooh, that one means if it sees you, they're gonna get hostile. Oh, oh, we got a melon and a result lice? Oh, wait, no. Cutscene. The whole first several hours of this game are cutscenes. I should be used to it because I play a lot of RPGs, but wow. Ooh, those look. What the hell happened here? Oh, that thing happened here. Is this the combat tutorial? Is this where I learn how combat in this you game don't think works? That one Sinicula could have killed all these Simeus. Oh, uh, that looks like a big thing, whatever it is. Unless, Unless what? This is bad. Yeah, obviously. What's bad? I don't follow you. That Sinicula. It's a tie. Ah. Huh? Looks just like any other Cinecula. So this is the, um... Think about it. Your typical Simeus is way higher up on the food chain than your typical Cinecula, right? Usually we find one Simeus standing over three or four Cinecula. This is, um, a core Here, mechanic of... And I don't see Xenoblade 1 and this game. In the area. There's only one explanation. That, that there are just, like... Let me check the blade report yeah, database. Okay, we'll let them talk if and then I'll explain it. there's a tyrant this close to the city, someone must have run across it. Bingo. There was a Cinecula tyrant sighted not too long ago. But it was a couple of segments further out. It could have followed the blade that spotted it back towards New L.A. Or come here to feed, or who knows what. That's crazy. I can't believe there's a tyrant right on our doorstep and HQ isn't doing a thing about it. Don't forget why they sent us here in the first place. Frontier Nav's range is still limited. Mm. Oh, right. 
They couldn't track it if there's no local code. Yeah. They must have lost it when it went off the grid. Mm -hmm. Uh, fighting it would probably be a really bad idea. What the heck is a tyrant? tyrant Explain. Is given to creatures that pose a special threat in the okay. That doesn't always mean raw strength. Some tyrants will actually register as low rank when they find them out in the field and engage them in combat. And then they destroy you. But don't let that fool you. If a creature shows up as a tyrant, you can be sure it's got at least one nasty traitor ability to speak of. The system can't account for everything, though, so don't let your guard down, no matter what rank it assigns. Even some of Blade's very best teams have come back with serious injuries after running into a tyrant in the field. If they come back at all. Ooh. Yeah, we can handle it. Mm. Well, alright. I'm game if you are. Count me in, Elma. Let's do this. If we're gonna settle here on this planet, we're gonna have to get used to dealing with tyrants now and then. We can't just keep running forever, you know? Besides, I'd never forgive myself if someone else ended up getting hurt because we just left it here. All right. Let's do it. But don't push it, okay? Either of you. Oh. If we can take it down, great. But if not, even just luring it away... I mean, I victory. do kind of want to push it. As long as we buy enough time to install the probe, we can use Frontier Nav to track it or any other tyrant that comes this close to the city from now on. Just make sure you're ready before we attack. This will be tougher than anything else we've faced. So, like, as you can see, this is the... Engaging a tyrant is no small task. It's important to equip your best before charging in, so double check all your weapons and gear. Make sure your arts are ready and leveled up. That's the first step to becoming a master of combat. Uh, let's check our arts. Do we have any... Oh, wait. No. Combat menu. Combat menu. One of these buttons is the combat menu, and I did not pay attention to which. Okay. Uh oh. oh they've seen us. <laughs> Open fire. We'll get out of here. Am I supposed to be the tank here? Why did I... Okay, it's resistant to that. From the side, it boosts damage. Oh, uh, that was a little late, but it's fine. Yeah, am I supposed to be like... Am I supposed to be tank here? Oh, it like toppled me for a second. While it's stalker, stagger. Oh, okay. Um. Physical resistance up. Stay up. Oh, we failed that one. Excuse me, don't, don't look at me like that. I don't like that. I want to stand up to the side. Salt hammer. Did that work? This is really good music. I wish it was not so loud in my headphones. Hey, 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 guy. You're not supposed to be doing that. You are supposed to. I'm supposed to be over here, sir. Oh, I whiffed on that. Oh, I should not have done that. Not with this low of health, I should have. Oh, I missed! Alright, we did the thing. We beat a tyrant. We are awesome! Yeah, I agree. Nice work, Lynn. You fought well. Oh, look at these environments, though. Now let's get down to business and install that data probe. If we stay here for long, there's no telling what other playmates might show up. Um... This beam of light indicates a frontier now. Yeah, this site. red one that I've been avoiding with it the camera. marks the ideal spot to bury the probe. Yes. So that's that's the basic mechanic. That's that's a huge mechanic of Xenoblade, at least a Xenoblade X. 
Okay, the probe should be ready for insertion. There are certain enemies right. that are just like life destroyingly the the difficult to itself. fight for the area compared the to the rest of the area's level. Laser. It dissolves the soil so the probe can burrow to the proper depth. Mm. We tried just planting them on the surface at first, but we kept running into problems with the local wildlife damage. Yeah, that makes the sense. The local wildlife don't look very Burying happy them about is going to save us all probes. a lot of time and headaches in the long run. We all set? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm right device. Right from our comm device. Uh, sure. We'll show interest in launch the probe. I'm like, wow, that seems neato. Is there like a button for me to? Uh, oh no, it's not. This is still cutscene. I thought it was. A, um, hello. It looks that looks s disturbingly fleshy for this being a planet. Yeah, this unlocks the, the installation mining mini game that I'm probably not going to do a lot of with this game. Lab. Excellent. See, at the end of the day, there's really not much to it. The hardest part was calculating the ideal probe locations. We need them spread out evenly to maximize data collection. Yep, planting probes is easy. And the more we plant, the more likely we are to find missing crew. So anytime you see a probe site, there's no excuse not to plant that sucker. Plant that sucker. That'll do it for your training. <laughs> Let's head back to the barracks and report to Secretary Nagi. Um... This game was at a really huge disadvantage. Oh, nice. Some loot. Obviously, I want to take the loot. I'm Lau, a Pathfinder. If we grow Frontier Nav, we need to install more data probes. Approach a vacant, vacant probe site and press the A button. Uh, make sure that your mechanical level is high enough. Uh, now that all that's left is reported back to base, uh, a giant beast like that is usually best engaged with a scale. Neutralizing a foe like that on foot, especially a tyrant, is especially risky, so be careful about how you do things in the future. So, like, one of the mechanics of Xenoblade, broadly, is, like, certain, like, areas have, like, a certain expected level. Like, these level 9 guys over there, or, like, the level 5 guys on the way back from base, and then there's just, like, a life-destroyingly high-level enemy called a tyrant that will, like, destroy your body if you take it on at the area's intended level. But, like, you come back later and you can actually fight it for real to get, like, good gear and stuff. You can also just engage combat at any time. If you remember the button to do with it... Ah, the, the R button is target. Oh, yeah, there's the auto run. Uh, it's on the R button. See, then we can fight these guys for no apparent reason. To, to really bop these guys. Wait, no, uh, hello? I wanted to keep fighting. Nope, I didn't want to do that either. Uh, hello? Am, do I have auto-run on? No, I'm good. I think I'm, I think I just accidentally changed target twice. Yeah, I did. Oops. Oh well, you can, you can hassle random, uh, enemies, and it will allow you to grind. Oh, did I? I just barely timed that correctly. Oh, it's trying to run away. Oh, we got one of them. What did we get? An insect wing. I'll take it. Hi. You look vulnerable. I'm 
just kind of like mashing hearts. Uh, I don't want to inflict taunt. Increase physical resist on. No, wait, no escaping. That's very rude of you. See? It's the basic idea, anyway. See, now, now I'm glad I did that, because now I can be like, auto-run, and then it just runs, and you just occasionally give it little directional inputs. And now we can just kind of hang out and talk about whatever. How have you guys' this weeks been so far? Mine's been pretty uneventful. Um, I don't know, I don't know what, well, I do know what. I've been watching a lot of, uh, alternate play, uh... Xenoblade 2, and I'm like, you know, I haven't played Xenoblade X in forever, and I said I was gonna make it a stream thing, and then I didn't. But here I am, actually playing it properly. Granted, it's after, like, the intended window, you know, the, the online service is dead. I will say I think this game really had a rough time of it, because it was a Xenoblade game uh, not on a not very popular console that did not continue the story of Shulk, which is why a lot of people stuck around. Uh, which, which is why a lot of people were interested in Xenoblade in the first place. It's a whole different storyline, a whole different set of characters. Um, and it was on the Wii U, which not a lot of people bought. So... You know, this, this game was not in a very good spot, sales-wise. I am kind of glad Xenoblade got uh, Xenoblade X on the Switch, though, because uh, as much as I'm not a big fan of active time battle RPGs, um, this is a lot of fun. It's like playing an MMO, but you don't need to pay a monthly subscription fee. Do you still have to pay a monthly subscription fee for MMOs, by the way? Is that, like, still a thing? Because it certainly used to be a thing. Did I go the wrong way? I did go the wrong way. What's here? What's this? Ah, it's the Miiverse terminal that doesn't work anymore. Hello? Oh, here's Vandom. Commander Vandom. They stole this guy's name for well, Zenoblade uh, 2. Look what the cat they in. stole his personality too, apparently. Dang. Sorry we missed you last time. We could have come to meet you at HQ, you know. Indeed. I suggested as much. Twice. Twice. And we know how much I enjoy being told what to do. Anyway, I hear you tangled with a tyrant way out of your league. On a training mission, no less. That was reckless. <laughs> and goddamn magnificent. Oh, he likes it when we're reckless. Okay. Nice. Chapter 2 in progress. Yeah, of course we want to save. Things have happened. So I think I'm going to try and... Oh, I'm going to try and stick to story quests. Uh, for this. I might do side quests off stream if we need to grind or something. So, Commander. But mostly story quests here. What do we owe the pleasure of your visit here today? Well, I can't just ask Nagi to do everything for me. I'd be out of a job. Hey, I delivered you the new recruit, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you won the bet. Don't worry about it, alright? I'll settle up with you later. You know I'm good they for it. The bet. The bet? I'm sure I'm needed elsewhere. You'll all excuse me, <laughs> Commander. He's like, I gotta get out of here before they make me explain this bet. Well, that wasn't obvious at all. Huh. Look at you two. I swear, you're like two children excited about a new toy. I should have gotten water Look before talking. I started here. I don't recall ever seeing you file a request to personally train a rescue before. Is that so odd? It is before we'd even asked him to become a blade, little stick in the oh, rear. Oh, these people have like a Usually whole... I ask when I don't get your slang expressions, but something tells me to just let that yeah. one go. Enough about that. Where are your manners, anyway? 
I still haven't been introduced to our new recruit here. Commander Vanden Heuvel is top, top officer, officer. Apparently, he seems important. In a past life, I was chief engineer on the White Whale. Same idea, basically. Someone has a problem, I fix it. Hmm. You follow? Fair enough. Huh. Gotta get those problems Not much fixed for conversation, somehow. Are you? That is hilarious, considering so Kiernan's character. Told us why you're here. From the look of things, I'm guessing this isn't a social call. You don't think? No. So let's cut the crap and get down to business. Relatedly, I ah, do miss playing like Kiernan. You're my expressions just fine, Elma. Anyway. First, we need Chatty Cathy here to choose a division and pull an assignment. Mm -hmm. Ask about divisions or ask about the assignment. Tell me about divisions, please. Pretty much everyone in New LA works for Blade in one of several different fields. Mm -hmm. Helping to explore Mira wow. or to maintain order in the city or... Well, oh, that was the hollow the screen, right? like, activating. I was like, what was that noise? There are eight different fields in Pathfinders, all, interceptors, harriers, reclaimers, curators, prospectors, outfitters, Officially and the one I didn't get divisions. to read. Naturally, you'll want to choose one that best suits your mm -hmm. personality and your talents. Yeah. Mediators. Let's that's start what it with was. the Pathfinders. Pathfinders' number one responsibility is planting data probes. Okay. Like you did on your training mission. I mean, I'm always a sucker for exploring for it. It may not areas. be the sexiest job, but important? You bet your ass it's important. Oh. We've only been on Mira two months. We don't know jack about this place. Magnus, the more probes we install, out, the faster we can get our bearings here and give ourselves a fighting out. chance. It might be. We've already detailed around. how important it is we expand the Frontier Nav Network ASAP. Mm. Magnus knows so, how to wrangle doors, being, so he I'll should just be fine. You of the highlights. Don't it you, helps Magnus? Us you know how to open safe. doors. It helps us keep the city safe. And most important of all, it's the key to locating the uh, missing see, parts there of the life he's opening the door. and recovering the rest of the human race. It's true, we need the life hold, where all the okay. people are. Next up, Interceptors. You met Akalov and Evans, right? Irina and Gwyn? This is their division. Interceptors have one main yeah, duty. I'm definitely thinking Pathfinder so LA far. and everyone in it from the wildlife here on Mira. Oh, Columbine is now following. Welcome right to the now, igloo. Uh, glad to have you division. here. Uh, everybody give a warm right welcome to heads. Columbine. They escort VIPs around and they help any other idiots who get caught out there with Xenoblade X. Uh, we're in the middle of a cutscene and what Next, seems like a lengthy one right now. Remember Doug Barrett? The scale pilot conducting the test flight with Lynn? He's part of the Harriers. Okay, but what do the Harriers do? Tell me. If you think of the Interceptors as defense, Harriers would be New LA's offense. Okay. They specialize in preemptive strikes on clear and obvious threats. Yeah, I'm not, th I'm not into that. But only on clear and obvious threats. They're not meant to go out and just blast any indigen that moves. And you got your reclaimers. Hmm. These guys are in charge of finding the other oh, pieces of the white whale. Okay. Among other things, that is. Including anything of ours left behind after a battle. So, reclaimers are like people Scale who... Scale debris, weapons, collect personal loot. effects. It can get a bit morbid, frankly, but it's gotta be done. I'm interested in reclaimers. Until we're up and running here on Mira, and have this place completely figured out. Everything we brought from Earth needs to be treated like it's irreplaceable. I mean, that makes sense. You don't have the resources to replace also, things. the search for the life hold. That's mostly on the reclaimers. Okay. So definitely thinking about Next, reclaimers. Curators. Curators are the first to scout ahead to unexplored territory. Bringing back whatever samples they can get their hands on. Fruits, Okay, bugs, curators are stones, the type it. to fill out the bestiary. It's not all picking berries, though. Hmm. Being a curator also means no. being the first to encounter unknown indigents. I'm not sure if this even matters Next. anymore. This might right. be... Prospectors. prospectors are like... I already know this. It's for the prospectors people who... Prospectors do... Well, prospectors. They do all the mining they poke the around pad. Looking for minerals, resources, and whatnot. Things we need for every yeah, day. Yeah, I think here. these guilds are for like... We packed all the essentials the, we could on the White Whale. Uh, that won't last forever. The online multiplayer we aspect of this. We need to be able to replenish our water and fuel if we want to survive. Because is dead. And sooner or later, we're going to have to figure out how to replace things from scratch. From the socket on a Skell's knee joint, right down to the frying pan in Lynn's mm. kitchen. 
Without Pretty these hard guys to replace a good cast iron We have man. no future to speak of. Next up, outfitters. Outfitters, I assume, are gear people. All of our ground yep. gear and scale weaponry is developed in conjunction with private arms manufacturers, or AMs. Mm -hmm. Outfitters are Blade's way of supporting these AMs. They'll seek out I mean, this isn't just my decision. The chat can ideas. chime in. And even assist what do, uh... new prototypes. What do y'all think so far out of the guilds we've been Finally, having read the to mediators. us? These are the folks who give everything hunky dory John to John and Joan Q public. public. That's funny. Any problems a civvy has, they come to mediators. The mediators are your neighbor, bluntly mediators. the cops. Lost cat, mediators. It's not a division for everyone. You need to be a jack of all trades and a people person. Someone with my charming personality? Probably not the best mediator, but if you got what it takes, it's a clutch role, keeping things cool on the home front. Oh, at some point. All right. So I think I just that's thought all about this. Um, yeah. Any idea I which one you'd like to do join? Do you know which one I'd like to Don't join? Don't fret about it too much. Whichever you choose, you still have a lot of freedom in how you. I operate. assume like these the the choice of guild mediators can changes still get how much it up, uh, XP you get from whatever. certain types of question, quests. And if a harrier wants to take a break and settle an argument, that's their prerogative too. Mm. To be honest, even though it's sort of frowned upon, you can actually oh, change your division whenever you like. Okay, so it's not a so there's really final no decision about this. All right. You ready to choose? I am ready to choose, but is the chat ready to choose? Question of the day. Do you, do you all have anything to say? Uh, I don't mind if you want to stick to lurking, but if you have decisions, this is a dis this is a decision. And it well, it does say no backseat gaming, but I don't mind. Uh, while we wait for opinions, uh, that reminds me, I. No, I've been carrying on about like writing my own Twitch bot, but at this point I don't I my my my, my computer programming brain is too wrapped up in my job. <laughs> and so I might go uh acquire Moobot for the channel. And then uh the fun part about having Moobot means I have commands so I can like have commands like oh, captions to remind people, hey, captions are happening there are live captions um or like the friend codes uh i don't know if it applies very much with the wii u anymore uh because the only game that would matter uh splatoon um i play splatoon 2 more but like i can put my wii u friend code into the moobot as well as the switch friend code um other than that i guess i could like you know talk about the donate link down below the video or like the youtube channel would be another obvious one you know because i have a youtube channel that posts all these vods uh other than that i'm not sure what else we could do for moobot commands uh maybe some kind of like uh, maybe some kind of lurk command that like reminds you how to do the lurk thing anyway it doesn't seem like anyone chat is feeling like speaking up so i'm gonna make a decision and uh, say I'm ready to choose a division because I don't want to sit through all those division explanations again. Oops. Yeah, and we're on pins and needles. Here. Yeah. Uh, yes, I would like to select my division. Thank you. Uh, Pathfinders is exploring the map. Um. Interceptors is defense. Harriers is offense. Uh, I feel like Reclaimers or Pathfinders. Just because that seems the most in line with the way I play game. Yeah. Uh, maybe Curators just for the sheer sake of you get points for collecting collectibles. Oh, oh, these uh, divisions give you, like, a gameplay boost. So, R&D support, uh, defense support, critical master, drop sensor, melee master, ranged master, or HP support. I feel like HP support would probably be the best. I don't know if I want to spec my character into a healer, but an extra heal on the team is always a good idea. Um... 
if anyone has a capital O opinion about this, feel free to chime in, but I'm thinking either Pathfinder or Reclaimer. I don't know, is this like supposed is this supposed to be a class system for your character or is it like a story choice or what? I'm just gonna stretch my hands out while I wait for chat. Ooh, Discord. That's another one that uh, that I should put into the bot because I do have a Discord. It's pretty quiet in there, but it exists. And all we need for it to not be quiet in there is people to show up and talk about things. Oh, good golly, my hands. Oh, get my stretch on. Uh, eventually, I do want to run. I, I want to make my own Twitch bot. I think at this point, oh, uh, Jubilee is lurking. Hello, the Twitch bot has not been implemented yet, but I'll get there. Eventually, I do want to write my own bot. Uh, I'm probably going to have to use JavaScript for it, just for the sheer sake of it's easier to write API calls that check for things. Fired, lol. <laughs> do you have an opinion on uh, which class we change choose here? Uh, the decision is Reclaimers, uh, who look for loot, or Pathfinders, who uh, look for new places. <laughs> But eventually I'm going to write a Twitch bot. It'll be an exercise in me learning more JavaScript. Ooh, Pathfinder. Okay. That's the uh, that's two votes for Pathfinder, so I'm going to call that. Doesn't seem like anybody else in the chat wants to pipe up. So Pathfinder, division chosen. And as the game mentioned, uh, this isn't a permanent decision. You can change it later. Yeah, it's absolutely settled. All right. Thank God that's over. Yeah, well, you By didn't have to wait as long me, as yada, I did for chat delay, guy. Yeah, neat. Congrats and welcome. I like to think that. I know you're gonna do that. Like long moment while we were talking, chat and I uh, was just in the mind of the character. The character's just standing there, and their eyes have the glazed job. over. Let's get down to brass just, <laughs> Nelson's team has gone missing. Oh no, Nelson. Had, they were installing a data probe out well, in we need to go that way. Then, nothing. Hmm. Nelson. Ah, right? we need to go help our fellow Are Pathfinders. Here or what? Your guess is as good as mine, but they Ooh. did have a skull with Yeah, we need to go get them. You think they could hold their own, or at least run Skulls are like big mechs, All right, if you don't know. We'll head to their last known location okay. and go from there. Report well, whatever you here find comes Magnus. Hi, Magnus Cat. Of course. Are you Let's gonna come out. say hi to the people? Roger that. Da, 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 da. Come here. Hey. Do you want pets? Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Uh, he's he's camera shy. I'll post a picture of him in the Discord, in case you're missing out. Uh, do I have that Discord link? There is a Discord link somewhere. It exists. You know, that's probably why the Discord's so darn quiet. Because I don't give out the link anymore. Let me... Let me create a link super quick and put that in chat. Just, huh, I wonder why my Discord's so quiet. Because there's only one invite link and I don't know where it went. Let me copy that and put it in the chat. Uh, look at my own chat, please. Put the Discord in the chat. Doot. There we go. That that should take you to the Discord. 
Uh, you're officially a blade now. Congrats. Uh, we can buy things from the shop terminal, the arms terminal, mission control, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we can fast travel. We're going to probably be making a lot of use of that. Uh, arms manufacturers support us from Sinline by developing new gear, utilizing their surface. We can support them. Head to the AM terminal and armory alley. Okay. Cool. Sounds neat. I'll look at it later. We uh, First, we got a quest to go on. Yes, go to the administrative di district. I'm on Discord already. Woohoo! Well, don't cause too many problems. Don't mind me just opening my phone to check on the Discord to make sure you're not causing problems on purpose. <laughs> Mostly joking. Uh, oh, I do have a rules channel. Good. Uh, are my rule are my rolls still in bot sounds? Sorry, I haven't checked on my Discord because I'm the only active member for many years at this point, probably. Ah, so there are pins in the um. Uh, yeah, there are pins in the bot sounds channel that tell you how to access pronouns. I might change pronouns around a little bit, if I can, uh, but we'll leave the color rules as is. Okay, so let's activate auto run and go places and do things. Uh, I went the wrong way. Woohoo, Discord! If you go down in combat, I'll rush right over to help you back up, and if I'm the one who goes down, you'll do the same for me, right? You do that for me, right? Ooh, that not confident guy. Mm. Yeah, it was a bit played. We're good. I was like, uh, I didn't. Sir. Yeah, you gotta register collectibles in the collectiblepedia, says the game. Hey, you gotta get your collectibles on. Game wants us to collectibles. I'm not going the right way. I'm so excited about auto run. Eventually, we'll use uh fast travel. Can I just say the music in this game is really good? So, uh, the bad thing about this game is it's a Wii U game, so the map's down here. Instead of, uh, anywhere the users, anyway, anywhere the stream can see it anyway. In, like... If this game had been re-released on the Switch, for example, you, the map would be a button that you'd hit. You'd, like, hit a button and it would overlay the map on the screen. We're just, we're just running. We're going places. Gotta go fast, gotta go quick. If we align our auto-run with the road... We should be good. Wait. Where is our side quest here? Uh, I want to go get those items, actually. Immediately distracted. See, this is why I thought about taking the item class, because item's good. I mean, we're going toward the correct place, so it's fine. Oh, uh, hello? What's hitting us. Oh, it's that. Okay. Well, okay. Well, time to time to go shoot shoot pew pew. Oh, it's toppled. Nice. What if I told you? Oh, I should have done that while it was toppled. Well, now it's too far away for me to use my knife skill. Knife skill. So there's like a rhythm to this combat that I'm uh, not abundantly familiar yet with. Uh, okay. Our, our other fellow party member is dying, so if we can help... Does this help? Oh no, it, it only heals me. Okay. Nice, we did it. That's what you get for trying to attack us. We get your items. Alright, let's go. Re-enable auto-run. 
and sit back and go. Like, that's what I really like about this game, and I kind of wish some uh, games would implement auto-run. Because it's like, I want to see... I want to see the world. I don't want to just skip it with fast travel. Oh, my knees! Um, listen, was this the intended way they wanted us to go here? Absolutely not. Look at that bridge up there. Oh, that's not a bridge. Uh, this is not the way they wanted us to go. Look at that big level 17 angry fish. But it is the way I am going. Uh, problem. We need to be up there. We are not currently up there, as you can tell. So we may need to swim back to shore and hope whatever's in the water doesn't eat us. But I wish, like, I wish a game, especially Breath of the Wild, is what I have in mind. Like, I wish it had an auto-travel feature. Hi, Edward. Yeah, we're going places in the video game, kitty. You wanna come up here? Come on. Come up here. He's like, no, no. You parade me around for views are enough, Dad. That's what he says. What do you think, Lever Cat? Hmm? He says, mmm, it's 10 o'clock and you sleep in an hour. That's actually probably what he's thinking. Because library knows when I should sleep, and so enforces it. Don't you, kitty cat? He says, mm hmm I sit here and I look very annoyed until you go to sleep. Don't ya? He looks all bent out of shape. Uh, this is not the correct direction either. Library, come here. Come here, kitty cat. Nope, he's wandered off. Never mind. I was gonna... Okay, uh, this is not the right way. Let's try using the path. Hang on. I'm not even facing that. Well, no, I'm facing this direction. We need to go around so we can go upward, apparently. Hey, we discovered an area. We should get points for that. That's how Pathfinder works, right? Probably. Hi, I would like to leap up these rocks with my superhuman jumping legs. In fairness, this is set on an alien planet, so like... Oh, come on. You're so rude. Fine. Assault hammer! I'll take point! Short back and high her! Point for an ice! Move in and do some damage. Oh no. Oh, it's toppled. Well, I should have waited now. Now close you and don't let up. Sorry, guys. Can someone heal me? I should heal up first. Please? Bang, 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 bang. Somebody needs to catch me up here. Uh, somebody is me. I'm taking a second and healing myself. Uh, again, I'm probably gonna be like, why did I do that? I'm gonna get... Are you fighting a flower? I think? I think this is a flower? Stab the flower. Show it who's boss. It seems to be shooting us a lot, actually. Ah! In fairness, the flower started the fight. So, hi, I would like to steal your items. No, oh, nope, I don't get to steal your items, never mind. Oh, yeah, library? You gonna protest down there? This game made some, uh, what the kids call world building choices. Nah. It's not the most egregious thing. Uh, that doesn't look good. The mech got dunked on. I really like the, like, environment design, but the monsters look a little... 
plane. Don't delivery, Kate. Damn. I knew we would have heard from them by mm, now. That's not a good sign. It was definitely fighting something. But this damage, it's not the mm. usual claw or bite It's marks. not a good sign either. No signs of the team. <sighs> Come here, Larry. If they were eaten, we'd know it. So did they walk away, or were they taken? Pick up the Kate. I pick up the Kate so he can say hello. Oh, he's like, no. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. I'm being framed. <laughs> yeah. Because I pick them up when they're being bad, and so I picked him up, and he was like, I didn't do it. Uh, search the area or head back to New LA. Well, obviously we're gonna search the area. What the heck did this? Right. Either way, they couldn't have gotten very far. Let's keep looking. Hmm. Hold up, Emma. Uh, Check alert! This out. Alert! Alert! I'm picking up an Earth-based IFF signal coming from that direction. Ooh. It's Pathfinder. I should um. Thing over there, maybe. I should steal the UI design from this natural, game to make it a. Uh... No, it doesn't. Uh, it looks like trouble. And look at this. I should steal this UI yeah, design for a layout. <laughs> Multiple signals moving around inside the structure. Elma, you don't think. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's intelligent life forms. We're on an alien right. planet. Look at their movements. They're controlled, orderly. They're definitely not wild animals. Ooh, the crew members got now abducted by aliens. Is, are they native to Mira? Probably. Or are they visitors like us? And if so, from where? I hope they're native. Because then we'll be occupying the planet. It's better for them to be native than to Let's be the to two aliens that put us it's here. A big universe out there. Of course, we shouldn't rule it out either. Should we call this into HQ? Yes, but not from here. If we're picking up their signals, they might be close enough to intercept ours. Oh, fair. You there. Drop your weapon. Well, uh, they must be Stay intelligent. Calm. We don't want to provoke them. They know about Earth? You may have been right after all. Mm. Uh, um, it would probably be the better idea to lower our guard and negotiate, but I kind of want to prepare to attack to see what, it, what happens. Prepare to attack. Did you already forget my first lesson? Oh. Fighting is a last resort. Ah, uh, she, she wants us to, uh... Be able to speak our language. She wants us to stand means, down. We need to find out if diplomacy mm. is a viable option. You're right. Oh, I guess. We come in peace, and we're willing to negotiate. If you have any Earth alien prisoners, we'd ask the conditions for their release. Mm, yes. We do need if to save our friends. We'll leave you in peace. No negotiation. Uh... No conditions. Mm. We have our own. Well, that's not a good thing. All Earth aliens must die. Uh, that's even worse. That's a problem. I hope these guys aren't from around here. Didn't have to be like this. Didn't have to be like this. Ask questions later. It inflex topple, but it's resistant to topple, so... Yeah, I don't want to get in close to these dudes, so we're just gonna hang out back here. And use our shoot, shoot, shoot. Ow, you're very rude. Why did you hit me like that? Oh, no, you don't need to shoot me. It is not required for you to shoot me. Sir. I don't have any way to heal these, heal my party members here. I should not have done that. That attracts attacks. Ruh -roh. Sure, now melee attack, I agree. But what if I did this? 
Oh, we did it. We got one of them. Nice. Oh. Quick time events are not my thing. Draw attack away from the weaker party member. And boost my defense. Okay, we did it. for the diplomatic yeah, approach. so much for it. What's the deal with wanting us all dead anyway? Yeah, I wonder. They did mention they were following orders. Let Maybe just, someone higher up their chain of command. Let me just hold on this for a second so we can get a good thumbnail shot. Oh, no. Cutscene's over. Okay. Oh. Okay, what are these? Oh, these are just skell chunks. Oh, I got a mash for this? Okay. I did a field action. Uh, nope. Not, not, not bright enough boy for that. Mashing A. Gameplay. Where are we go? Um, no wonder they were like, yeah, these are probably sentient creatures. Look at the look at the buildings. Wait, no, did we walk into a cutscene? We did. I love that moon texture, by the way. Lynn, really cool. Can you give us an approximate location for that IFF signal? <sighs> Let's see. Activating triangulation. Seems to be originating from that building over there. Then we'd better get moving. There's no time to lose. Hmm. Better get moving. There's no time to lose, except for the time we're spending on this dramatic camera pan left. Strength comes from experience. That's true on any planet. Mm. Oh, ooh, I don't want them to see me. I'm gonna hang out over here. But I do want this item. And I do want that item. Please don't see me. Please do not see me. Thank you. Very, very courteous of you to not see me. What's this? Ah, biological treasure that we mash A for. It released a bunch of bees. Probably alien space bees. Am I going the right way? Ah, I am going the right way because there's a little raised area here and then it leads to this raised area which clearly will get us higher up, won't it? He said and then was entirely incorrect. Uh, so we need to get up there. How do too? Is this a stealth section? Hang on, I, I almost had that jump. Let's try it again. Let's do one of these. Nope, cannot jump that high. Mario Jumpman Mario. I am not. There's definitely got to be a way up there, though. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. Before we do anything... We gotta do pathfindery things. Wait, no. Maybe we don't have to do pathfindery things, because they are guiding they are guarding where that probe goes. Um I wish we were do, do do you remember what level that guy we just fought was? Because I don't wanna like jump in on fighting these two guys in case it's gonna get us killed. Is there a way for me to save? Uh, oh, this toggles the distance of the minimap. Kind of nice. Oh, aerial cameras. So we can look at the we can look at the area a little bit. Kind of nice. So obviously we needed. Hang on. Let's hold up. Oh, this is very in the way of the thing I need. So that's the... How do we get up there? I think it's intended we're just supposed to jump. Is there a zoom in button? No. 
We're supposed to jump, you know, on that rock there, up here, through there, to over there, because I don't see any other obvious way up. Hmm. This is kind of a nice feature, though. It's a little bit of a photo mode type thing. We can look out at the world and be like, dang, that's a lot of landscape. That's really cool looking. <laughs> I really like the environment design here. It's like, it's very alien planet. This is also a potential uh, layout. I might be able to, ooh, I have ideas. I kind of like the way this looks. Anyway, clearly we're intended to jump from that rock to here. So, okay, we've we've uh, we've considered our options here a little bit. Is there a way to hang on? Pause the game and save. Ah, save. We're gonna save before we run headfirst into fighting these guys, and then we're gonna run headfirst into fighting these guys. Oh wait, no. <laughs> we don't even need to fight these guys. We just can, we can just install the probe and then leave. Oh, it erased them from existence. Goodbye. Okay, let's see if we can pull off the jump that it wants us to now. So we were over here, right? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, yeah. I had to, like, orient myself for a second, figure out where I was. Okay, we're here, and then there. It's kind of clever with the moss as a way to tell you, like, yeah, jump here. Especially in, like, a natural-looking environment. Okay, can we not actually make that jump? Am I... Is my head a spl Oh, that does not look friendly. Look at that thing. That does not look friendly at all. Is there a way up there? Okay, there is. I was not going crazy bonkers. What time is it? Uh, I should be done around 10. I really should be done around 10 because then I can kind of wind down from stream uh, and not... Um, we're just gonna not go that over that way. So the people over that way do not notice us. Cool and good. Hold up. Whoa, buh, 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 buh. Can I aerial camera to get a lay of this area? Aerial camera. Nice. Deet, 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 deet. Uh, very helpful. So helpful, this aerial camera. We can't hide under something when it's an aerial camera. Large brain. Brain activated. Wrinkles excised. Okay, so there's those two dudes there that are likely to cause an encounter, but if we jump on these barrels and then there and then over that wall, we may avoid that encounter too. And it's like, I don't want to avoid every encounter, but it might be a good idea to avoid encounters in what is clearly a stealth section. That looks important, that thing that the camera's pointed at, the, between the two animal pens here, but we may have to come back to it, because right now it would trigger a mass encounter. Okay, so, oh, that's just a, that's just the Deedle dude, you know, the, me too, gotta get your stretch on, I agree. Um, the little beehive looking thing we interacted with earlier. So, what if we do this, and then this, and then miss our second jump, jump here, jump there? Is that unhappy with us, or is that a table? Hmm. Wait a second. Can we do this without... Wait. I do not like that you have to map. I do not like that you have to map so with this. I, you can see me visibly, like, pause to check if you can just hold A for this. Hang on, let's see... Okay, here... Right here... 
Wait, no, right there is our intended target. Let's see what the aerial camera in that says. Uh, that didn't go very high up. What did it bonk into? The building. Alright. The aerial camera will not net us much. Do we, do we just, can we just walk up here? We just open the door? Yep, open the door, open the door. Everybody open up that door. Uh, yeah, I expected a cutscene here. Okay, they have three humans held captive hostage, question mark. Is there a way we can solve this? What if I told you we solve this next time? They're all dead. Oh, they're dead. They're not just hostages. That's even worse. Blood. Fortune did not smile upon them today. Nelson. Oh, rip, Nelson. You filthy Earth aliens do not belong on this planet. You seem more fluent than the others. Are you in charge? I am called Glennon. I command this squad. Oh, you have a lot of bravado, Glennar. It's time for you to surrender. Mm, but what if I told you no? Hello, Glennar. I am called Elma, and I command this squad. If this planet is your home, we apologize for intruding. We crash landed here after our It's true. We did crash land here. Adversaries. We were hoping we could negotiate a peaceful settlement in exchange for our friends, but... Peaceful settlement? Your words are wasted on us. All we can promise Earth is mm. a This guy is death. not a fan of Earth people. Mama. Right. We tried. Looks like survival of the fittest it is. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Fine then. Seeing as you know we come from Earth, I'm guessing there's a good chance we might have a score to settle mm. with you anyway. Alright, let's go, I guess. Hang on, before we start. Wait, oh, no, wait. Ow. Did I die? Just immediately die. Is this intended to be like a you lose the fight fight? Okay. I get the sense this is supposed to be a uh, you lose the fight fight. Yeah, absolutely. This is a Final Fantasy you lose the fight kind of thing, I think. Uh, no? It's not a Final Fantasy you lose the fight type moment. You are actually intended to fight these guys instead of just getting destroyed immediately by one punch. Do I need to like go grind or something already? This early in the RPG we need to grind, really. Hello, I would like to jump up there. I did it earlier. There we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, what level is our party, speaking of? We're level 7, right? Party. Status. Party status. Let's learn about Kyrnes. Yeah, we're level 7. So... We could fight some of the lower level Gruntos. Like these guys. We're level 7, right? Definite level nine's not that much higher than level seven, right? Right? Let's see if we can do this fight one more time. And if we if we fail, that's it for the night. If we don't, though, we'll keep going until ten thirty. Okay, uh, okay, we don't have to watch the cutscene anymore. Where do they go? Oh, hi there. Let's go. 
let's see if we can do topple, and then on the top of the target, do the thing that does extra damage to top of targets. Nice. Stab. Stabo, stabo. Uh, I should not have drawn their fire. Uh oh. We can handle this together. Uh, okay. She died. That is a problem. I'm just gonna stabbo. Stabbo, stabbo. Can I not do this? Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, wait, no. That heals only me. Neat. Uh oh. We died. It looks like we got a good portion of their health bar this time. Okay, so it looks like we immediately grind. Immediately grind. Okay. Immediately grind. I guess we're grinding next time. Uh. Let me save. Let me save. Save the game. Yeah, override our previous save data. This wouldn't be too bad. That, like, little turning gear screen, I mean, wouldn't be too bad to remake. Anyway, uh, I think that's the note we have to end on for the night. Um, we will be back with more... Uh, hang on, let me close out of Xenoblade. Data has finished installing, apparently. Um, close software. Yes, I would like to close the software. So that's it for Xenoblade tonight. Um, we'll be back Friday, probably? Yeah, Friday. Friday for Xenoblade. Uh, but if you're still hankering for a stream, uh, we're going to work with Ex Novo and finish off that city we left half finished. Uh, um, last time we played Ex Novo, we're going to finish off that city uh, Tuesday, actually. Tomorrow to finish that city off because uh, Tuesday means long stream. Uh, anyway, that's it for the recording. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, feel free to tune in Tuesday for Ex Novo or Friday for more Xenoblade.